Hello and welcome to our demonstration of WJ Castle, a state-of-the-art service life evaluation modeling software that we developed at Wyss Jenny Elsner to predict the durability of concrete structures. As part of today's demonstration, we'll talk about the WJ Castle software, as well as the associated engineering approach for condition assessment and service life evaluation of concrete structures. And we'll describe how this tool can be used to predict corrosion-related deterioration. We at Wyss Jenny Elsner developed this tool to implement a probabilistic approach to modeling because we feel like that is the most accurate and reliable means for simulating real world performance of actual structures. The WJ Castle software allows us to estimate the remaining service life of concrete structures. This is useful for existing structures because it allows us to identify the appropriate timing and methods for repair or rehabilitation. For new structures, this is helpful because it allows us to evaluate the potential benefits of protection strategies early in the design phase, and ultimately to validate that those methods will help that structure achieve the design service life. For existing structures, the process usually begins with us identifying what deterioration mechanisms are likely to control the life of the structure and then the design of an investigation that supports collection of the necessary information to conduct the modeling. The investigation typically includes a certain amount of field work, including the collection of material samples, testing of those material samples in the laboratory, and then finally, the service life analysis. And we're gonna go through each one of those steps in the rest of today's demonstration. WGE Castle is developed in house by WGE's material engineers and thus gives us full control over the evaluation process and also facilitates a customizable approach to construction parameters and exposure conditions unique to each project. And that leads us to the, one of the main advantages of the software, which is the consideration of site-specific parameters. And this can include uh, construction geometry, installation or presence of coatings, sealers, overlays, uh, the use of corrosion-resistant reinforcement, uh, also, we can consider concrete cracking or existing chloride profiles or special exposure conditions like two-sided exposure. And WGE continues to add and improve to those capabilities in response to project needs. For existing structure, our approach is based on the idea that the best prediction of an existing structure future performance is through careful evaluation of its past performance and its actual current condition. And we do that through field investigation, utilizing latest technologies of non-destructive evaluation, and also through laboratory testing of material samples collected from the structure. So the inputs for our service life model are derived from condition assessment findings measured directly from the structure of interest. And to consider the inherent variability in concrete construction and exposure conditions, we use probabilistic analysis. Um, this approach that we are describing in the video today has been validated through comparison with condition, uh, with field observed condition on numerous structures, including industrial ports, building, bridges, and nuclear power plants. We'll start with a visual survey, visually examining the structure for signs of distress, differences in exposure conditions, or other hints that there may be some sort of uh, degradation mechanism occurring. We'll proceed with a sounding survey, either using hammer sounding or change rag to mechanically agitate the structure and listen for signs of distress. Corrosion distress will manifest as shallow delaminations, and these will be audibly different relative to sound concrete. In addition to the visual and sounding methods, we'll utilize advanced non-destructive evaluation techniques to further characterize our structure. A very common method we'll utilize to evaluate the as-built conditions is ground-penetrating radar, or GPR. GPR can either be a handheld portable antenna or a cart-mounted antenna to allow us to rapidly collect data across a structure. Utilizing GPR, we're able to characterize the as-built conditions, including reinforcement location, as well as reinforcement cover depth. Other non-destructive techniques, including corrosion assessment methods, such as half cell, surface resistivity, and corrosion rate can be used. Based on the results of our visual surveys, hammer sounding, and non-destructive evaluations, we'll locate material sampling locations on our structure. Typically, we will be extracting a four inch diameter concrete core sample, uh, mostly concrete, but also extracting a sample of the reinforcement to evaluate the corrosion condition and, and overall quality.
When the samples come back to the laboratory, first we examine them visually for signs of distress and for general quality. Then we select samples for petrographic evaluation as well as chloride concentration testing. Petrographic examination of the concrete allows us to identify material properties such as water to cementitious ratio, air content, and the presence of supplementary cementitious materials. It can also allow us to identify deterioration mechanisms that may be present in the concrete. After the powder samples are prepared, chloride concentration testing is performed according to the different depths that those powder samples came from within the member. The chloride profile that's developed from these tests then helps us to understand what the propensity for corrosion is. These material properties have an influence on the permeability of the concrete, which is an important input of the service life evaluation model. So we use the data we collected from the field investigation along with the results from the laboratory testing and we feed that into our service life model. The model then predicts the time required for corrosion to initiate, propagate, and cause damage. So the model can predict chloride profiles at certain age. So here we're showing thousands of chloride profiles protected at that age because we're using probabilistic approach. So here we have the chloride concentration on the y-axis versus the depth from the concrete surface. And that's plotted again as the chloride threshold at the depth of the rebar. Another output of our model is a percentage of concrete surface area on the y-axis here that's affected by corrosion-related damage versus time since construction. And then we use this information from the service life modeling along with life cycle cost analysis to evaluate different repair options and also to develop project specifications that meets the requirements of the project and also the service life requirements of the asset owner. Through the course of this demonstration, we hope you've gained an understanding of the WJ Castle software and the approach behind its use. This approach is applicable to a wide range of concrete structures in various exposure conditions. Uh, this is applicable to industrial, transportation, infrastructure, power, and governmental structures. So feel free to reach out to talk to us more about WJA Castle. We'd love the opportunity to discuss this further with you.